seek God to bring the lesson in the preach word. Asking your God to let him down deeper in your word. In the name of Jesus. Jesus that he may Jesus, feed Jesus, your Jesus. people and feed your lamb. In the name of Jesus. Lord, these are not the blessings we ask in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. God bless Bishop Curtis as he comes. Amen. I want to be saved. 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 Saved when this world is condemned. I want to be saved. 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 Saved when this world is condemned. Don't want to be lost. Don't wanna 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 be lost. lost when this, this world, world is condemned. We do unto the Lord tonight in the presence of the saints of God. Everywhere those of you who are in computer land, we thank God for you. We thank God for those who are here tonight one by one. It's a blessing to be alive. Blessed to be in good health and strength. Amen. <clears throat> Thank God for all things in Jesus' name. God is truly, He is a good God. Amen. And He's worthy to be praised. Thank God I feel a little closer this year than I did last year. It's a blessing. It's a blessing to hold on to God. Amen. Like one that's done in the days of old. Folks are going back now for various reasons. Amen. They're not what they used to be. Amen. Some folks, you know, <clears throat> we noticed that we had confidence again. Just wouldn't have thought that some would have done what they did. But come to find out they did it. Is that right? When you look up and find out they did it, then you know. You know what you know. Amen. It is true that they do not what they used to be. Amen. If I were you, if I if I would have went back on the Lord, if I had gone back on the Lord, I'd come to the altar somewhere. If I had to build an altar, I'd build one. All right. Get there and every day and call on the name of Jesus. Because you don't know what you're playing with. If you start playing with your soul, you Man with fire. Right. Amen. You're going to spend eternity. Amen. From what the old preachers told us, you're going to burn in a burning place and it's not going to be nice. Right. Amen. Amen. Some folks, you know, I really just take the chance. And I know I don't, I don't want to take a chance with my soul. Right. Amen. Tonight we're going to break those the whole year long. We look at in the Word of God, find out the Word of God has has some some surprises for everyone. Amen. The more you stay in the Word, the more one can learn. I thank God for the Word, and God opened up more and more. Amen. And I, I think I, sometimes I, I I spend substantial substantial time in the Word. I, I need to spend some more. God started opening up so much to us. Amen. Thank God. Tonight we're going to bring you something for me. We're not <clears throat> going to try to bring you anything new because the Word of God is older than all of us. We're looking at St. Matthew, the 16th chapter. <clears throat> Amen. And about that 13th verse. Amen. <clears throat> when Jesus came into the coast of Caesarea Philippi, uh -huh. he asked his disciples, he asked saying, his disciples saying, Whom do men say that I am? The Son of Man am. The Son of Man am. And they said, And they said, Some say that thou art John the Baptist. Some that thou art John the Baptist. And some Elias. Elias. And others. And others Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Of one of the, of one prophets. Of the prophets. 
Amen. He said, we thank God for this death. Amen. We thank God for the word of God. Amen. And this this portion of the word is talking about uh, mainly Peter confession. Peter confession. Amen. I looked at it, I said, well, let me do this for the young ministers. St. Right. Matthew 1. It, <clears throat> 1. In that area of the book, it talks about Jesus again rebuke the Pharisees. Amen. Amen. And also, you can look at this in Mark 8 and 10, Luke 12 and 54. <clears throat> then, St. Matthew 16 and 6, uh, the living of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Amen. Uh, it talks about that. You also can read about this in St. Mark 8 and 1. St. Mac, uh, Matthew, which we just went over, St. Matthew 16 and 13 talks about Peter confession. Amen. Peter confession. He confessed. Amen. Amen. And then also you can look at a uh, different opinion concerning Christ. Amen. <clears throat> look, uh, look at the other part uh, of the book. It says St. Matthew 16 and 17. Uh, first mentioned of the New Testament church. Right. Amen. Thank God for that. Then we look at St. Matthew 16 and 21. Jesus foretell his death and resurrection. Amen. And St. Matthew 16 and 22. Jesus and Peter rebuke each other. Amen. And you can read about this also in St. Mark 8, 32 through the 30, 30th verse. St. Matthew 16 and 24, uh, disciples tested value of a soul. You can read about this St. Mark 8, 34 through 38, Luke 9 and 23. Also, we looked at St. Matthew 16 and 26 to talk about the second event predicted. Amen. And we looked at St. Matthew 16 and 28 to talk about the transfiguration. Right. Amen. Predicted. And thank God for those scriptures. Amen. Thank God for those. It kind of give you a breakdown of the book. And you can come up with other subjects also that's important to you as you read the book of Matthew. And this will keep you enthused right. about what you will read. Tonight we want to focus a little on St. Matthew 16 and 13. Again, we may say St. Matthew 16 and 13 when Jesus came unto the coast of Sicily, Philippi. He asked, he asked his, his disciples, saying, saying, Whom do men say that I the Son of Man am? Say that I, the Son of Man, am. And they said, And they said, Some say that thou John the Baptist. Some say that thou are John the Baptist. Son Elias. Son Elias. And other Jeremiah. And other Jeremiah. Of one of the prophets. Of one of the prophets. We know. Here, John the Baptist was the forerunner of Jesus Christ. And Elias here is talking about Elijah. That's right. Amen. Jeremiah, we know Jeremiah is being the weeping prophet. Amen. And there's some interesting stories in each one of these men. Elijah and Jeremiah. Amen. <clears throat> Elijah, hallelujah, he, he performed many miracles, but Elijah 
came after him, and he had for a double portion of Elijah's spirit. God is a good God. Hallelujah. That meant that the, uh, the miracles that Elijah performed, Elisha did double. Right. Amen. God is a good God. And Jeremiah, the weeping prophet. Amen. Somebody to know. Somebody to read about. Okay. Amen. The folks had Jesus confused. Yeah, they had him confused with these men. Because those men, I see it like this. They did some of the things that God told them to do. And they, they act like, more or less, act like Jesus. Jesus was a healer. Yeah, Jesus was one that weep. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. And Jesus was like a prophet. And some say he was a prophet. But he the one that gave them all the prophecies that they had. Yeah. Jesus came down to Jerusalem and he wept over Jerusalem one day. Hallelujah. And, and I want you to know that he raised the dead. He performed miracles. No wonder they had these men mixed up with them. One day time when, I'm, when I have plenty of time, I'm going to go over that, and, you know, and let you know. Hallelujah. Hopefully I can go into some of this on Sunday. God is a good God. He wants you to be listening. Amen. He is a good God. Had him confused. But I think everyone ought to know who Jesus is. In my old age, I come to find out that a lot of folk just don't know right. who Jesus is. Amen. Yes, he's the one that made heaven and earth. He is the one. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That was in the fire furnace we talked about Sunday. Yeah, he's the one that led the children of Israel out of Egypt. The Bible tells us that a rock followed him. Hallelujah. And that rock was Jesus. Amen. I believe in Corinthians, first Corinthians tells us about that. Yeah, that rock followed him, and that rock was Jesus. Yeah, Jesus was back then. Jesus was God, but he was in at in existence back then. He was very much alive. Amen. It's good to know who Jesus is. I, I think so many people backslide because they don't really know him. Okay. Uh, they claim they know him, but they don't really know him. If you knew Jesus, you would love him so that you wouldn't want him to leave you. You want to be in his presence at all times. And if you couldn't be in his presence 24 hours a day, you want to be in his presence as much as possible. Hallelujah. Because he's somebody to be around. Amen. Amen. He is good at all times. He can comfort your heart. He can comfort your mind. For you to know him is for you to know life. Right. Amen. We're going to go a little further. And he said unto them, but whom say ye that I am? Jesus wanted to know what his disciples. Right. Uh, he told what other folks. Hallelujah. Thought about him. But God is concerned about you as a saint of God. What do you think of Jesus? We, we sang the song said, what do you think about Jesus? Hmm? Yeah. We, we sing that often. Uh, nowadays, you, you don't hear that too. What you think about Jesus? We again, you know, we're saying the chorus. We say, He's all right. Hallelujah. <laughs> you got to know Him for yourself. If you spend some time with Him, if you have problems, then take your problem to Jesus. You be like others. You tell others He is a problem solver. Amen. Amen. And you have a testimony to tell others that He is all right. Yeah, we usually say, how many know that he's all right? Amen. Yes, he's all right. But whom say ye that I am? Yeah. What do you think about him That's right. as a church person? What do you think about him right. as a child of God? 
what you think about him as a minister, what you think about him as a teacher, what you think about him just being a member of the church. Hallelujah. I think he's all right. Amen. I think he's all right. I take him as being my God. I don't care what the world may say, who they may worship. I take Jesus. I take him. Right. The song says, I take Jesus so for mine. Yes. He's mine. Hallelujah. He's the only God that I know. He's the only one I know by name. Hallelujah. Jesus is the only name that I know that is above every name. Amen. That's what I read here in this King James Version. Amen. That 16th verse said, and Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art, Thou the, Christ, art the Christ. The Son of the living God. Yes, yes, he is the Son also. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. That's that blessed part. He is the Son. The Spirit part that was in him uh -huh. was God. Yes. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, that flesh was made to be a sacrifice. Yeah. Hallelujah. But he was God Almighty, God in the flesh. To wit me to know that God right. was in Christ, only God. Who is he? Who is he? Whom do men say I am? Somebody don't care what others think about them. I, I don't folk think I'm a crook. All right. Amen. Uh, they, they may think that, but I don't want them to think that. Yeah. I'm not going to do anything for folk to think that I am something else other than a saint of God. Amen. 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 I'd rather take the blows. I have taken a lot of blows. I mean, I've taken a lot of blows. All right. Yeah. I've taken a lot of licks. Yeah, been talked about, been misused and abused. But what? I'm still standing. On Jesus. Hallelujah. Wind may blow, storm may rise. I think as long as I hold on to Jesus, as long as I trust in him, I believe that I'll be all right. God is able. He's able to take me through anything. And I didn't know that Jesus is taking us through. Right. Yeah, he's taking us through. Amen. Amen. Now, here, and St. Matthews 16 and 17, uh, the first, first mention of the New Testament church. Amen. Hallelujah. We're going to talk a little here about the uh, New Testament church here now. Come on. What is it? And uh, Jesus <clears throat> answered and said unto him. That 17 him. verse says, And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou. Blessed art thou. Simon Bogart. Uh huh. He said, flesh and blood have not revealed it unto thee, but my Father, but my which, father is which is in heaven. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. This was revealed by God to Simon. Amen. Yeah, Simon. Uh, uh, Simon, uh, or Jonah, or Jonah means that, what, just Jonah right. in, in the Arabic. Yeah. In the Arabian's uh, language, it means what? Jonah. Yeah. Thank God. And what? He let us know that flesh and blood had not revealed it unto thee, but my Father, which is in heaven. God had to give, must give you a revelation. Amen. I say, God is the one that must give you a revelation. If you don't get a revelation on him, you will stay in the dark. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. I say you will stay in the, in the dark. Yeah, yeah. God let us know that Simon, uh -huh. you didn't receive this on your knowledge. Amen. It wasn't because of your ability. It wasn't because, hallelujah, you was a great man. You knew more than anyone else. Sometimes there's things we don't know. But God will reveal things to you. If you keep your mind stayed on him, Amen. you stay close to God, God will reveal things to you. 
One, one thing that Peter, James, and John, they stayed close to Jesus. Yes, you can stay close to him. You're in the church today. How can they? He's not walking around. But you, you can stay in the word. Hallelujah. Stay consecrated. Amen. Keep your mind on him. And the more you stay close to the Lord, young men and young women, God will reveal himself to you. Yeah. In the Arabian tongue, uh -huh. hallelujah, Bojana means Jonah. Huh? It, it means Jonah. And God a good God. Amen. That, that's, that's simply what it means. He called him uh, Simon Bro John. Hallelujah. In the Arabian tongue, it means what? Son of Jonah. Yeah. Son of Jonah. Mean Jonah. Hallelujah. God is good. Amen. God is a God that reveals things to men. If you want a revelation, I'm simply saying tonight, stay close to God. If you want to know, stay close to God. So many is so far from God. All right. And they get further and further. You can't let nothing get in the way of your revelation with God. Amen. I say you can't let anything get in your way. Your education, because you're educated, don't let it get in the way of God. Because you have great ability, don't let it get in the way of God. Because you can come up with good thoughts, don't let it get in the way of God. These things, because you get into self, hallelujah, honey, you can miss out on a whole lot. Because of great ability, I can do it myself. Right. You can miss out. You can miss some things that God will do for you. When God does little things for you, and then he'll come back and do great things for you. Amen. 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 What else? What else? And I say also unto thee. And the word of God said, and I say also unto thee. That thou art Peter. Listen to God. Uh-huh. He said, thou art Peter. And upon this rock. Upon this rock. I will build my church. I will build my church. And the gates of hell. And the gates of hell. Mm -hmm. I, I used to hear Bishop Perry so much I could hear him every now and then uh, in my mind. And when he said, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Huh? Yeah, the gates of hell won't have no strength. Hallelujah. Against God's church. All right. Amen. The church is where you want to be. I'm talking about the real church of God. Not just anywhere. Some go go anywhere. Amen. Go anywhere and eat anything. And let anything go on in their life. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah, and I heard somebody say, well, I need to go and, and get a covenant. I, you better make sure you, you get the right covenant. All right. Amen. Get the right thing. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. For the time I say so many times, that America may be so bad, well, but everywhere else is so much worse. Sir. I, I, I got, I, I, I adopted another thought from that. I said, the AOH church may be so bad. Hallelujah. I'm going to leave the other off tonight. All Let right. you think that the rest of it. God is a good God, ain't he? Amen. Yeah. And, and AOH just simply means apostolic overcoming holy church of God. Uh, AOH simply means Hallelujah. The apostolic overcoming holy church of God. And we believe what the apostles believe. Wherever you are, wherever you are, you must believe in the apostolic teaching. You got to believe what the prophets and the apostles and Jesus Christ taught. Jesus Christ is the chief cornerstone. Is that right? Who is he? He's the chief comes from. The church belongs to him. Thank you, Jesus. God is a good God. God said, and I say also unto thee, right. talking to Peter, said, thou art 
Peter. Yeah. And upon this rock, I will build my church. We use the Paul right there right. and tell you that uh, Peter is not the rock. A lot of, of ministers would teach you that Peter, he's talking about Peter, that he's a rock. No, Jesus is the rock. That's right. And he's speaking of himself. So upon this rock, I will build my church. The church, we know this too, that the church belongs to Jesus. Now, I'm not to hear folks say that the Bishop Curtis Church. No, it's not my church. All right. No, it's none of the bishops' church. None of the overseers, none of the overseer of church, or elder of that pastor. The church belongs to Jesus. You, individual, belong to Jesus. Okay. We should treat everybody like we are somebody. And I think, you know, sure, the pastor ought to love everybody equally because you do represent Jesus. You are Christ's ambassador. Amen. You, you, you need to carry his message like he sent it. Is that right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some can carry it better than others. And, and, and don't let that bother you. I know there's a lot of good ministers out there, ministers better than I am. But one thing about it, I don't think you live any better than me. I can live holy, I can live right. Some people can tell it, but they don't live it. Hallelujah. I said they can tell it, but they don't live it. This you must tell and live it. Amen? Amen. If you can't tell it one way, turn around and tell it another. Find another way to tell it. Is that right? Okay. Everybody, I hope you understand. Minister know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Make the message plain. Yeah. Write the vision. Hallelujah. And make it plain. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. God said that upon this rock, I will build my church. This is not your church, Peter. Mm -hmm. This is not your church, Jane. No, but I will you, it's not your church. Jesus said it's his church. Mm -hmm. And he said he's said he going to build it what? Upon a rock. Amen. And that rock is Jesus. Huh. He said, Thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church and the gates and the gates hallelujah of hell shall not prevail against it and the gates right. must be many ways you can go in now is that gates mean more than one the gates of hell shall not prevail won't have no strength right. over God's church if I were you, if I was out of the church, I'd be putting forth every effort that I know to get in the church. If you're ashamed of the saints of God, I think I would make an altar at home. All right. I would call Jesus. I would call him until he comes. Yeah. I'm not, but I don't believe that scripture. I don't believe it means. Well, you can't do anything if, if you if you if you find another revelation, you come tell me about it. Say, whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Amen. God's name is Jesus. That's the name we know. You can call Jesus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can call him by his name. As churches are folk. Have been saved and filled with the Holy Ghost. Call on the name of Jesus. What did they say? Bishop Chris, Jesus is power in that name. I can do his power. I've been touched. I've been healed. Been delivered. Things have what? Moved out the way because what? I was called upon his name. Whom do men say that I am healed? He is a deliverer. He is a healer. He's a way maker. Hallelujah. God can do anything but fail. There is no failure Amen. in the Lord Jesus Christ. If there's any failure, hallelujah, it's failure in us. Somebody said, well, something happened to me there. You know, if, 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 
If anybody did, it wasn't God. Mm -hmm. and, and your fight shouldn't be against God. I, you know, I can't go along with folk believe in the church and everything, or they said this and that. Uh, if, if there's something wrong, mm -hmm, it wasn't God that did it. Okay. Hallelujah. All those blessings you received in the place, and you're going to get up and leave it? Mm -hmm. No, it, it, it's some other reason. Uh, we tell the truth about it, some other reason. When you leave the true church of God. Amen? All right. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Amen. Amen. Uh, the old preacher used to look around. I, I want to do it like them so y'all know how the old preacher was. Right. They said, oh, amen, pews. Right. Amen, lights. Yes. Amen, doors. Right. Hallelujah. It's true that God can do anything. And God won't give his glory to another. Amen. He's going to build the church upon Jesus. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Amen. St. Matthew 16 and 19. And I will give unto thee. God told Peter, he said, I will give unto thee. The keys of the kingdom the of heaven. The keys. Hallelujah. He's going to give him the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth, whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth, shall be bound in heaven. Shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth, shall be loosed in heaven. Be careful how you treat the minister. Amen. Amen. Be careful. Someone don't believe this, but it is the word of God. He tried to what go back and and just you know say well this was. Peter, yeah, he was, but it still works. God's word still works. You got to be careful how you treat the man of God. Peter given the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Amen. St. Matthew, let's look, look at St. Matthew 18 and 18. And, and then we're going we're gonna to come back and do one more scripture. Amen. St. Matthew 18 and 18. Verily I say unto you. Verily I say unto you. Whatsoever ye shall bind on earth. See, God said it again. That proved that God means. You, you, you don't. I, I was always very careful uh, about two, you know, uh, let, let's say three people. Man, that my mother, I heard my mother used to say, you don't want, you know, to come in conflict with your mother. I never did want to hear my mother say, I'm going to leave you in the hands of the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Then I learned that I didn't want to come in conflict All right. with the minister of God. Mm -hmm. The Bible tells us to church not my anointing. And do my prophet no more. Amen. Hallelujah. I, I never wanted to hurt the minister in any kind of way. Me, I am a minister. Mm -hmm. I am a minister, but I'm careful how I, I talk to other ministers, especially if he's really real, you know. And, and there's time, there have been times I ask ministers. You know, I felt like there was had more rank than me. I said, I said, will you give me an opportunity to say what I want to say to you? I respect them. Is that right? All right. I respect them. When they told me yes, I told them everything. And then when we left, we still was on the square. And we was on the level. And we plumbed the line. God is a good God, ain't he? Yeah, you stay, you know, stay in your place. Stay in your lane. Be careful how you speak to the man of God. I heard uh, one man say, well, he put on his pants just like I do. One feet at a time. Mm-hmm. 
one or uh, one foot at a time. He said, "That's right." <laughs> but he put both on so we could be. Mm -hmm. God is a good God. Be careful. God has given the minister some power. Mm -hmm. He given the minister some, some power, and it is the power of God that works in him. Thank you, Jesus. And Peter used one of the keys on the day of Pentecost. Hallelujah. Then Peter said, repent and be baptized. Every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Acts 2 and 38. Open up a door for the people. All right. You want some doors open for you? Hallelujah. Talk to the man of God. He got some keys. He got some things to say to you that can loose you. He got some things that, hallelujah, he can tell God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That's some more to it, but we have so many unbelievers. A lot of things you can't stand right now, so I won't tell you. Right. Mm -hmm. He can pray for you. Hallelujah. The prayer of faith, and God will heal you. God will deliver you. There's other things that God has put in his hand, especially those who are what? Uh, that's close to God. Especially those who are living the life. Hallelujah. I want to warn you tonight that you be very careful how you misuse. Be careful how you talk to them. Because you can bring some things down on you that you won't be able to get off. This also is true by even old peoples. I thank God for my mother. My mother, you know, uh, she came from the other days. Sometimes said she was old fashioned. No, she was back there where they respected folks. My mother used to always tell us, respect those old people. Hallelujah. You never know who you're talking to. Sometimes you may be talking to an angel of God. If you say the wrong thing, then no telling what won't happen to you. They can be close to God. They can be like Peter, James, or John that went with Jesus and seen things that the other disciples did not see. Yeah, they went on the mountain of transfiguration. The other disciples was down, hallelujah, down beneath the mountain. They went in with Jesus to heal Jairus' daughter. The other occasion, okay. Peter, James, and John were with Jesus. Hallelujah. Be careful. Thank you, Jesus. Be careful. Because Jesus have them in his sight at all times. God is with them. He's not trying to frighten anybody. He's trying to teach you lessons to let you know. Hallelujah. Something you don't want even to come out of your mouth. Hallelujah. Because you can bring things up on yourself that you won't be able to recover from. Amen. Maybe if you went to that person and told them all what you said and did, thank you, Jesus. I think God has the power to deliver you through them. They can ask God for forgiveness for you. They can ask God sometimes. That's why, that's why so many, somebody, somebody done found out, some of the saints have found out, if, we, if, if I can just get the minister to lay his hand on me, everybody can't do it. Right. There's some folk that had some type of spirit in them. If they lay their hand on you, honey, you may not recover so quick. Hallelujah. I'll never will forget the old minister told us that don't let everybody be laying hands on and, and you got folk that go and play, throw their hands up, and they, folk lay hands on them, they be messed up for the rest of their life. And I, I tell you, you can lose your mind sometimes. Somebody know what I'm talking about. Right. I'll have an interview to lay their hands on me, and it took me days. Hallelujah. I was a young person, it took me days to get my mind straight. Hallelujah. And I knew what it was. I knew what it was when it happened. Out on the floor 
Thank God to help It's good to know Jesus. It's good to know Jesus. Hallelujah. Then I did another thing. Fast and pray. That, 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 that spirit was still there. But oh, one day I got in the word of God. I started reading in Psalms. I kept reading and reading until I finished up Psalms. When I, when I finished up from, my, from where I started, God delivered my mind. Hallelujah. Thank God for Jesus. Hallelujah. Whom do men say? I the son of man. He is a deliverer. He's a healer. He's a way maker. Thank you, Jesus. Son that I was telling you, young folks, he'll be a sister for you. Young people, he'll be your brother. Young folk, those of you who don't have a mother, he'll be a mother for you. He'll be a father for you. Thank you, Jesus. And in the song, I can hear one of the uh, young men who saying, what you need? He said, God got it. I can hear him saying that song. Thank you, Jesus. What you need, God got it. Whatever you need, whatever you need, the Lord Jesus Christ, he has it. And he'll give it to you. And he'll give it to you for the answer, for the asking. I'm so glad that I know Jesus. I said, I know him for myself. Amen. Yeah. You got a problem? Be like Peter. Confess it. You got a problem? Hallelujah. Don't try to rebuke Jesus. Hallelujah. Give in to him. Thank you, Jesus. You got a problem? Let Jesus foretell you. He'll bring it to you. You got a problem? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, go to him like the disciples did. Go to him privately. God will open up to you. He's that kind of a God. Don't ever think that God, hallelujah, don't ever think that he want to get rid of you. Right. Don't ever think that God is against you. No, he is not. That's right. God wants you to know. Hallelujah. God wants you to prosper. God wants you to be in good care. Right. I'm coming out. He wants you to make it, young boy. God wants you to be blessed. Hallelujah. God is a good God. He's a good God. Keep on trusting Him. Keep on believing Him. Thank you, Jesus. I want you to know, hallelujah, as we close, Paul asked him, he said, Lord, who are thy Lord? And the Lord said that I am Jesus. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is God. He is the Almighty. He's the one you want to put all your trust in. Amen. Amen. We do love you tonight. We're getting ready to go. Hope you got a thought out of this lesson. We talked a little about all of St. Matthew 16, the 16th chapter. So we ought to have a little knowledge about it now. Keep on trusting God. Now, if you want to know, hallelujah, who Jesus is, ask him. Ask him, and he will reveal himself to you. Love everybody tonight. Love everybody. I hope everybody loves me. Amen. Amen. I don't want to be a hindrance to anybody. If I knew that I was going to be proper to you, I move. I try to move myself out of your life. Amen. I want you to make it into God's kingdom. Amen. All hearts are clear tonight. Amen. Tell somebody before the week is out that you love them. Amen. Don't let it be one of these hymn folks. Tell somebody. I wish you could tell your enemy that I love you. Amen. Amen. All hearts are clear. May the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God. We the communion of the Holy Ghost, rest, rule, and abide with his people, now henceforth and forevermore. Let all the people say, Amen.